In this video, I will solve your doubts about how to send XLM to Trezor Model P and whether or not it is possible to do this. As you might be aware, you are able to create various different wallet addresses to store and hold your cryptocurrencies available on your Trezor Model T. Now, to do this, you would connect your Trezor Model T to your computer with a USB cable, open Trezor suit, and by using the plus sign at the left side of the Trezor suit, you would be able to find various different cryptocurrency assets and generate wallet addresses for these. However, what you will notice is that even if you browse through all the available cryptocurrency assets, you will not be able to find XLM. So as of today, does Trezor even support XLM? Is this something that you can natively do and generate a wallet address for? Or do you have to store it elsewhere? Well, sadly, the answer to the question in the title of this video is that unfortunately, Trezor Suit does not natively support XLM wallets. You can still securely store and manage your XLM using your Trezor Model T in conjunction with a third-party wallet, and this is what I'm going to talk about in this video, but directly storing it on the Trezor is going to be impossible, so keep that in mind. A popular choice for interacting with XLM while le leveraging the security of your Trezor Model T is going to be by using Account Viewer. So connect your Trezor Model T to your computer and access Account Viewer. So at accountviewer.stellar.org, you will be able to follow the on-screen instructions to connect your Trezor hardware wallet. By doing this, Account Viewer will generate an XLM address for you based on the Trezor device that you are using. So you will find the Connect with Trezor option, and after this is done, you can use the Stellar Account Viewer to manage your XLM. You will not be able to transfer them directly inside of Trezor suit, but of course, this is still going to be connected to Trezor, so essentially, you will be using your Trezor Model T to send and manage XLM. I hope I was able to help you on how to send XLM to Trezor Model T. If this video answered any questions that you had, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching!